Hey, y'all want to go on a side trip? Watch this. I'll tell you something about these governors. This being uh, LA or LB International, the McCormick Deering, this is the governor system. So, well, to try to explain to you, most of them, some kind of pop metal, and most of them depend to be, if, if they've had some opening more corrosion in the back that pin will be rusted into that palm metal and at that point you, you're not going to have no success saving it because at this point it's already cracked the metal it's just show and tell a, a complete governor To actually know how this works is, well, how's best to uh, lay it out here. If you're looking straight down on it, this is what, what, it, what we're talking about. Okay, this mechanism would be right there. This, this pivot, that pivot part there, screws into the side of the block on the inside. After you have that cover off, this right here threads into the block in there. looking like this so and then it has this this uh this 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 piece right here is what pivots to adjust the rpm of the engine what it does is you you put pressure on one side of this and it doesn't let your fly balls open as much like like I show you here um, but anyway uh, not to be confusing it consists of a gear and then the two weights which affixes into that part there and all of that mounted together will look like that free that's the fly ball Simple governor, you can mount it outside the engine, it would work really good if, if that was the correct gear ratio. So, and, and then you would add this part right here. That's this it's a, it's a guide and a mounting for the governor, like this one's already in there. Done screwed in. Okay, once all that's screwed together, you'll have this right here. This one has the plunger, this plunger mechanism. It's a, it's a pin. It's two plungers. Both ends will come off. It's just stuck in there. And a spring and a collar. Okay. This goes into that guide pin here. This part. This goes into there. Be like that. And the spring uh, is how much? That that pin pressure on that pin. Okay. When you move this handle. When you move this handle right here, that's on the side cover,
it moves this, it puts pressure, it puts pressure on this, this thing right here, which this, this is in there being a total of this. This is mounted into your engine in correspondence to this pin and lever mechanism into the side of the block. Then this is into a position that these flyweights will fly out. Uh, then this is an interesting gear. It's made of brass or bronze. It's in perfect condition. You can't tell it's ever been used. But when, when those flies out, it pushes that pin out, which is the same thing as what that happens down there on that EM engine. And then when they go back down, that pin goes back. Okay, that part is right out here with that lever thing mounted onto that. And this, it's a pop metal arm, but they do have a little piece of metal casted into them. Uh, they're very weak mechanism, but this this rides right there like that. But when this comes out, that pin goes out, and when that pin goes out, this arm goes that way and pulls this right here. This lever will be into that, and when it when that goes over that way, it'll pull that pull this mechanism here which has this little square coupler on it, mounted into the head throttle plate. Leave a comment. Pass it on to a friend. Post it up on Harry's old engine website. That's as simple as it can be. Just saying. Add on to the fact that if you adjust this adjusting screw, and this whole mechanism, there's some other, the, the, the spring of most importance, make this over a, a sideline note on that blank page, of most importance is this spring on this, on this shaft that goes through the engine. It's got a cotter in it, it's got a bushing, and it's got a spring. And that spring's indexed into that bushing and into the arm itself. Uh, where's that? Right here, this thing. Well, same thing. This is just two examples. That one's done getting away. But th this would be into your engine. And in the front up there, there's another guide. There's... No, I don't think they are. The bushing up there is big enough to compensate for. This being going in from the back and pulling... Like that, okay. The, the the what 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 the spring that puts tension onto your return of the throttle plate is this spring right here. When 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 you drive this into the engine, it, this whole assembly in one piece. It's kind of hard to do too uh, on the on a pop metal one, but that goes up in there, secures that, and then you index this. Uh, pivot to where that it has tension on it like that right there to see that's got tension on it because I'm holding this right here and and and, and so that whoop, that makes that up there have tension on it so this is if this springs broke you won't have no control over your throttle plate international McCormick Daring one and a half to two and a half horsepower and three horsepower to five horsepower engine sizes use this type governor the, the, these are the parts to it you know you can follow along in your manual there your instructions parts number list operators manual and this is what you will see in real life. Now y'all enjoy the video. We'll see how it works. Leave a comment. I am from here in Middle Tennessee.
the geographical center of something, they say. Shop dogs. Yeah. You may, <clears throat> you may wonder what I'm doing over here in the corner, but I'll, I'll show you something. Uh, I built a muffler for an engine, and uh, now I'll tell you something that you will come into a problem on to. So, the, 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 this right here. It's, uh, this right here is that exhaust tubing that you get up there at the local parts store. It's swaged on one end bigger than this end. You can work with this here on several different projects. I'll just bring you up to date on that muffler project to the fact that I discovered you, you cannot braise with any degree of success, you, you cannot braze this tubing. It's aluminized. I'm just saying, like, if you needed this round thing to be up on that thing right there at a certain distance, and you were going to fill that up with braze, it never would adhere to the outside of this. The only place that the braze attaches is the part where the pipe cutter, the tubing cutter, that's bare metal, so you can braise that thin ring. But you can, with the addition of the, the adapter I built on that muffler, you can fill that void with braise. Just saying. Uh, it's not to be attempted to braise Aluminized tubing with any degree of success. Make a note. But you may wonder what I'm doing is it's getting cold here. It's cooled down. Uh, Temperature and all overnight. Now, no complaint on my part. You know. Uh, but some projects finished up and some projects being started. A bait tag to be rebuilt. Cost $20. So with the cold weather as being a prompt So yeah, yo, uh, we'll bring it in the house, and uh, and we'll look at the parts that I'm going to need for this engine. Um, I bought it uh, a couple of three years ago, past up at Portland, Indiana, at the Tri-State Gas Engine Show. I bought this Maytag at that show. For twenty dollars, and with all intentions of restoring it, rebuilding it, just you know, get it all good parts on it for the start and run. So uh, it's getting cool. So you know, there's no reason for me not to bring it in the house and look at it and see what parts I'm going to need. Start laying them in. Let's get that done. 